and we're back for another video. Episode number three, Guardian Heroes. I'm not going to read the dialogue we've been through again. We're going to see this opening level quite a few times during this series. Because <laughs> the opening level doesn't change, right? Um, I also have the difficulty on easy. I realized last episode I don't think it affects the endings. And so in the sake of not making these episodes obviously too long and cumbersome, just to keep it on easy, just so I can fly through it a little bit. And we can see some endings together, experience the story together. So the first episode, or the first ending, I guess, is what I mean, that we got. We pleased the Sky Spirits. We did a... Went directly to the boss of the Earth Spirits, who apparently... The magicians, the human magicians in the world, oh my gosh, I'm gonna forget what this, what it was. The human magicians in the world were sent down to the Earth Spirits as sort of a punishment. Because the Sky Spirits were jealous of their power, their wizardry power, their Harry Potter powers. So canon worked with the Earth Spirits to sort of escape the Earth Spirits, I guess. That's where Canon comes into this. If you remember Canon from the first couple episodes, this game is way easier, <laughs> easier than it is on normal. Like, I'm tearing through these guys. But, that's okay. The point of this playthrough is not to be hard, not to make me pull my hair out. It's to enjoy the game with you guys guys and gals. Alright, this is Golden Warrior introduction. Again, I guess I'll fast forward past this. I read it all once before. If you do want to see this dialogue, then start with episode one. Why are you starting with episode three anyways, man? Man. Oh, man. I don't know. I might try to do a different character too on the other playthroughs. I typically just choose, you know, the easier characters, the uh, sword people. I like swords more than the sorcery part. But, but I don't know. Maybe it would be good to showcase some of the other characters. So maybe I'll use another character next video, next episode. Here he comes. Boom. Let's tear things up. It's time to tear things up. Right in time for Halloween. Right, so... I learned, too, that I don't really need this. <laughs> so, I'll do a little luck, vitality, and strength. I took some points in that last walkthrough. And it's not a good stat for me. <laughs> it's like your mental ability or something like that. It's it's one of the magic stats. I don't know why I took some. Alright, fast forwarding past this. Read it all before. The funny guy. Oh, I rushed into nobody. Where is he? Where is he? Let me hit him. All right, type bomb. Yeah, this is much easier and easy. I wonder if the newer version, the HD version, is the same. I don't know. Maybe I'll play it just for fun, just to see the differences. Like I said before, I'm not a super fan of the blurry graphics. I love pixels. Oh, 
And if you love Pixels too, check out the I Love Pixels shirt in my shop. Ding, 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 ding. Oh yeah. Get him. Don't let him get up. This game would have been awesome if it came out in an arcade, I think. Like, totally awesome. Yeah, it's these guys back here. Oh! The wizards are coming. Let's get them! Um... A lot of the enemies in this game have really funny anima animations if you actually pay attention. Alright, so. Did that before. Let's keep fast forwarding by. So. Hmm. I wonder what ending we're gonna go try to get today. We got 24, so we'll try to get 25. So, how do I get there? Let's see. Let's go to a nearby small village. I hear there is a group of people gathering at the village who plan to rebel against the kingdom. Alright, let's go. Let's say hi. Let's see if they need help. One point, that's it. Bogus. So this should be, yep, stage five, powerless resistance. Nice. Stage we haven't seen yet. Oh, that guy's helping us. <laughs> I, I, okay. He is a resistance. He's helping us. I was trying to attack him. But I couldn't hit him. They are really after us now. We must hurry to the village. Where is your face, man? He's got no face. Graphics are so good in this game. I love them. The different planes, the scrolling, the parallax, the slowdown too. It comes with the package. Nothing you can do about it. One thing to take note of, if you're ever going to play this game. See, they have life bars there, where the enemies have life bars. That was throwing me off. Anyways. I forget what I was saying. Oh, one thing to remember when the enemies are dizzy. That's what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my own brain. When the enemies are dizzy, they actually heal themselves. So, you want to try to get on them if they're dizzy have those symbols above their head cuckoo cuckoo confused in Pokemon terms there's still a guy somewhere he must be behind us oh that was one of the stages with like a secret stage because it had that little sign in the back I have to read up what that is but hmm. There's a little, something to do with the sign gets you to an extra area or something like that. I'll have to read it up. Caught you at last. I knew you joined the resistance. Now all of you will feel pain. All right, guys in your pink bubblegum armor. So, so your village guard is operational. <clears throat> oh, loyal village guard. Protect us in our moment of need. Attack the king's men. They shall do evil deeds no more. I don't think so. That's right, you overrated hunk of scrap metal attack. Destroy those who side with the resistance. Ooh. Yikes. Hey, not at me. <laughs> I've reprogrammed your guard to follow my commands. I, I don't understand what's up with his teeth. He's like a weird vampire. <laughs> 
like a clown vampire. Which is... Hey, that's an, that would be an interesting movie. Clowns are scary, vampires are scary. I'm sure there's been a clown that's been bitten by a vampire sometime along the way, right? Let's do my dive bomb attack. As soon as I can get free, I can make him go berserk. It's hard to get out from under this guy when he starts doing that, but I'm trying. Alright, when you dive bomb, you become invincible for a couple seconds, so like that's... I can't do nothing. Alright, now maybe I can get out of there? Alright. Alright, Golden Guardian. Go! Go crazy! Lots of slowdown at this part, trying to deal with it. I need to focus on that Guardian though. This this lightning bolt thing that's... Once you get trapped in it, it's like you're stuck. Unless you get lucky and you're... Directly in the middle. Gotta keep this guy out of the air. There we go. He's getting there. Now that he's on the ground. We almost got Vampire Clown Man. Alright. Oh. I didn't have time to react. Alright. Get away from me. Oh. Fire's chasing him. Who's he waving to? I like these odds better. Charge! There's one dude! Really? He full healed? And he summoned one guy? Oh, he's fast. I was not expecting that. I didn't really see many of his moves in that last section, because, you know, the slowdown and the Guardian was taking up the whole screen. Alright, I think dude's dead. Nice. He's gone. Are those shrimp on top of the pillars? How dare you attack me? You would attack a, a member of the royal kingdom? How could you? Oh, Serena, tell him. Kingdom, huh? I see that you've been pro promoted from dung, dung inspector since, since I've been in the castle. Didn't you know that the Khans are fake dictators? Who replaced the real royal family? They caused a revolution to seize control. Fake? The royal family? Ah! You were chief of the night troop. How do you know about that? See, we know about that from the last episode, the path we chose. But I guess for this path, this is where it's being revealed in a different way. Now you have a big golden freak for your ally. No one told me about that. Nobody told me about that. I have no other choice. I have been holding back. Now, I must show you my... show my real power. On second thought, er, uh, I have urgent business. Back at the castle. You're lucky I have to go. Alright, mister. Then, my blue knight troop has not... is not made of real royal knights? I don't know their purpose. But I know that imposters have gained power. They are planning something horrible. Creating a wizardly kingdom is only part of it. They are manipulating the whole kingdom for their own personal benefit? No way. I will destroy them. Ooh, a choice. Let's see. So we can approach from the forest, approach from the town, or avoid the battle in town. All these choices lead me to the same spot. Let's Approach from the forest, I guess. Let's see. This should take me to... No, strength. This should take stage 11, let's see. If I'm following the map correctly, which I am. Uncertain Messenger.
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about, some of the funny animations. There's one right there. I really wish this was an arcade game, though. Maybe it was in Japan, I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't think it was. Um, this would be so awesome, playing an arcade cabinet, I think. It's very arcade -y. Get a few friends together. Four-player arcade cabinet. That'd be ballin'. Where is this guy? Oh. Surprise! Alright. Back this way. Uh oh I never thought anybody would dare to challenge my blue knights. Ch Chief? What are you doing here? Okay, so that's my troop, apparently. Han's troop. Han, I see. You are the revolutionaries, eh? Is it time to see who is stronger? You, get the princess back. I'll be done here in a second. Princess, is Lucia here? Oh, I'm fighting. Fighting, fighting, fighting. I remember this vaguely. So I remember this part. I don't remember everything. Nice, I got him in the uppercut. Harry. Alright. I think I proved too stronger. Alright, leave him be. Leave him be. Wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Idiots, don't worry about me. Do your job. Han? Uh, is his name spelled differently right there, or am I crazy? Isn't it on the menu, H-A-N? Anyways, you are a true champion. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I wonder how you lost that eye. I'm very curious. What the heck? Who the heck are these guys? Darn it, Lucia! Yeah, the chief came here to take Lucia back. He's got big legs. Lips. I have heard I have heard that the princess often sneaks out of the castle. When I met her, I thought she'd be snobbish, but no. She is really cool. <laughs> okay, thanks. That was interesting dialogue. <laughs> oh gosh. These guys uh they're like belly flopping. I can't I want trying to get out from the tree so I can I'm trying to get her up from the tree so I can see more of their attacks. There we go. What is he doing? Is he... Was he shaking his armpit sweat? Almost? He's doing... He was doing a push-up. Those guys are hilarious. Han, see? That's H-A-N. I was right. What are you doing here? You don't by any chance. Are you there, Lucia? Don't try to get away. More searchers coming? You're keeping us busy. And... Okay, they ran away. You! Please stop, brother. These people saved my life. Besides, you need to know why I snuck out of the castle this time. It wasn't because I was bored. What? I know life in the castle is boring, but you could have worse to complain about. I found out something I shouldn't have. I know what she- we know what she knows from episode 2. I got scared. I heard, overheard a conversation between Cannon and that monster. Why- why have they built a wizard kingdom? What- what do they want from us? Is it not? 
It is not polite to eavesdrop, princess. I should punish you. Gonna be cannon? Yep. Lucia, leave at once. Undesirable elements are staying in our castle. But brother, go now. The bloodline of the true Khans was not completely destroyed, eh, Serena? Our troop trained you well. If you've survived this long, now you think your day has come? The Khans were slain long ago. Why avenge crimes that happened before you were ever born? Does it seems like the same plotline as as the the other path that we took in episode two? Shut up, Kanan. Even if the Khans were wiped out of existence, how can I say nothing? I have seen the magic of a dark wizard mock the true glory of the Khans. Yeah, some of the dialogue is the same. I remember. You are brave to speak so freely. You have the royal fire, just like the drip, just like the dead queen. Your mother. You look just like her, Princess Serena. Serena? A princess of the Khans? Nonsense. My family has ruled this land since ancient times. My father, the king, never spoke of any change in the royal family. Run! I was going to get thrown back. Yep, it's pretty much the same scene. It's episode 2. Ha ha ha. I remember a warrior. He fought to his last breath the night your family was destroyed. You should have died along with the men he killed on the outskirts of town. I never dreamed that I would come face to face with him again. The warrior who died when my family was destroyed? I knew we'd meet each other. I know I knew we'd met each other before. I knew he was a knight of the Khans. The king himself said just before he died, Now my kingdom is that of the sword. Destroy us now. The sword will return and avenge us. As a precaution, I ordered my warriors to gather every scrap of steel and iron. Not one sword in the kingdom had such power. I should have looked more carefully. A sword found by a stranger turned out to be the one. Serena, when your rebels and the sword worked together as one, that's when my troubles began. What are you up to, Cannon? By the time I was born, you already held total power. Why in the world did you have to destroy my family? I'll just keep reading, even though I've read this in episode two. Oh, this is the thing. I don't know. Should I read this? I guess I should. I don't know. In ancient times, humans merely existed. The proud sky spirits ruled. The sky and the earth spirits ruled the earth. These mighty beings fought each other. Humans were caught in the middle and cowered in fear. Then the sky spirits gave us magic power beyond the imagination of most humans. We decided to help the Sky Spirits in their fight against the Earth Spirits. We fought with all our might. Most of the wizards died. But we finally succeeded. We banished the Earth Spirits into darkness. But the Sky Spirits were unhappy. They began to envy and fear our newly acquired power. They pushed us, the wizards, who would have died for them, into the same darkness as the Earth Spirits. The survivors forgot about magic. This was called the Time of the Sword. I vowed revenge. I waited for the right time when I could revive magic in this world. Now they're going to float down. Is this when they float down? Yes. You're going to hear them plop on the ground. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. An old man is coming. He's there. Old man with the tiny head. I used spells to hold down the earth spirits and crawled from the darkness. The cons would not trust my magic, so I destroyed them. I replaced them with a wizard kingdom where I hid and waited. You destroyed the cons for your own evil purposes? Evil purposes? No. To save humanity. I am sorry, Valgar. But you chose to live by the sword like a fool. If you were a puppet like the king, you would have lived much longer. Father, who knew everything? He knew everything. 
But those who found the sword also found trouble, didn't they? Far better if they'd met me before they met this woman. Well, that's all right. Let it go. Everything's still on schedule. The dawn of the sorcerers is about to begin. All right, so this is the big changes again. So we said you're insane last time. So we'll go with replacing the cons was wrong. No, we're going to go to the other extreme, I think, just to keep me organized. If you are telling the truth, we have enemies besides you. But I will not let you go. Accept my challenge. Ah, you'd better worry about yourself. If you only believe half of my story, you will become twice as endangered as I am. Get him. Ugh, no way. He can break my spells? What power do you have? I... Oh. We do not fight him. Warriors, I have something to tell you. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I might even let you see cannon for a little while. Hmm. It's an interesting line. Alright, only two points. Let's go there. Stage 17, Revenge. I have my fan on because it's super hot here. Hope it doesn't pick up on the recording or I'll be sad. They caught up with me. Their powers are equal to mine. How can this be? I summon them here. Uh, it's the king. King Valgar. What are you doing here? Foolish human. Do you really think you had control over the earth spirits? Oh yeah, he's the fake king. He's that lady. You are finished. Did you think we'd forgotten that you'd help the sky spirits banish us to darkness? Dang! You don't realize it at all. Your king ceased being human. Our power will soon be complete. Humans need not fight the sky spirits. Hmm. That mission belongs to us, the earth spirits. Okay. Humans, don't be don't be afraid. I rule the Earth Spirits, one of the two species Ka Canon spoke about. I've observed many human battles over the centuries, but you seem to possess something different than those I've seen before. So now I will share a secret with you. Canon didn't tell you everything you need to know. Listen and you shall learn the absolute truth. I will show you the real evil. Yarg <laughs> The king the king was a wizard? Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, I don't really know what to choose here. Let's, I guess, listen to the whole story. Good. You are brave. You will now face our people. Should you defeat them, I will acknowledge you as true warriors. Okay. points. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Stage 23. Truth. So we're going to learn a little bit more of the story, it sounds like. Alright, so we're down in the Earth uh, spirit realm in the middle of the Earth. Those guys look familiar, except from the last playthrough they were white. They look cool and yellow. They look like, I don't know, they look like peeps. Like evil peeps. <laughs> I don't know. The Easter candy peeps. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, I missed him. Alright, he's down. Red Hulk is down. Switch planes. Ooh, gargoyles again. They're dive bombing us. So that means get out of there and air attack. Oh, we got the ogre guys wearing wearing the interesting underwear.
Man, I can't get out of this uh, corner. There we go. Got an opening to get out. Ooh, Hulk smash. Right. His air attack is like the best. I don't know what the name of it is. But it, you can make up so much lost ground with it. Just shoot up in the air and then do his like fire dash thing. It doesn't take any MP or anything, so there's no worries. All right, it's Donkey Man's left. Gotcha. Did not get you. <laughs> He's a hoppy little boy. Every time he hops, you get a good look at his butt cheeks too, so, you know. I'm not that happy about him being a hoppy little boy. Alright, let's try the pincer move. I don't think my dash has hit anything this this run yet. Keep da dashing by everything. Oh, here's a white one. Right here. It's got a lot of health. Is it like the king? The king peep? But it doesn't look like a peep because it's not yellow. I know they have different color peeps. I wonder how many peeps they sell every Easter. A million? Two million? Anyways, I talked last episode a lot about my history with the Sega Saturn. I got it when it first came out. So hopefully you watched that episode before this one. My friend uh, William was the big Nintendo fan. And I was the big Sega fan growing up. I remember I had, a, I had a regular Nintendo way after it came out. I didn't get one until like Mario Bros. 3 came out, which is way into the lifespan. And then I got Genesis after that. And then hit my teenage years and I did some work. I worked at a bookstore at the mall and KB Toys and from that I got well my mom bought me my Sega Saturn like I said last last episode I told the story last episode I'm not gonna tell it again anyway she bought that for me my PlayStation I got from a acquaintance not a friend at school who obtained the PlayStation very Questionably, let's just say that. Let's just say it, it fell off the back of a truck. He was a stalker at Kmart. And I don't condone, I'm not condoning that, okay? This was like 50, 20 years ago, okay? More than 20 years ago. Anyways, that's how I got my PlayStation. So I got it super cheap. I would have never got a PlayStation if it wasn't for that reason. So I got a PlayStation, I bought my own N64 when it came out. I uh, imported a Dreamcast, probably after that. That was probably the next system I owned, and I couldn't wait on the Dreamcast, being a big Sega fanboy. So I imported it. I was the coolest kid in town. Well, I wasn't a kid anymore, I guess. <laughs> Anyways. And then I was, I don't know, I was an adult after that with a job. So I tried to buy whatever I could after that. But that's my journey. I had nothing before Nintendo. It was Nintendo Genesis, probably Saturn, N64, PlayStation, and then most things since then. Alright, this looks familiar. This is where we fought 
the Earth Spirit on the, the Sky Spirit's ending, but I don't think we're going to fight the Earth Spirit this time. I'm glad you came here, you warriors who fight without seeing the truth. Listen to me. I rule, I rule the Earth Spirit. I have something to tell you about the world. All of the creatures in this world were created by a supreme being. This being's sole purpose was to promote war. All of the life forms have been fooled into fighting each other. So he could have ultimate warriors to serve him. In order for this... In, in order to end this vicious cycle, you must defeat the Sky Spirits and ultimately the Sky Beings. Fight for your freedom. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this, I think that means come... Come... Confront the Sky... So destroy the rest of Kanan's army or confront the Sky Spirits. Let's let's do the opposite of what we did the first time. We trust the sky spirits and confronted the earth. Let's just do fine. I will open the heavens for you. Now go learn who you really are. All right. They definitely spelled that wrong. Nine points. Let's just bam. See what that does. It's on easy. It doesn't matter. I don't think. Uh, stage twenty-eight. Warrior in the light. So this is the second ending we're seeing together. We did the polar opposite endings at first, so we beat up the Earth Spirit. Now I guess we're going to beat up the Sky Spirits. This obviously is going to be a lot easier because it's on easy. I haven't even used... I don't think I've used his Berserk once yet. I'm just going to use it now because I miss it. I don't think the difficulty affects the endings. That's what I looked up, and that's why I said to myself, why the heck am I playing this on a harder difficulty? If I just want to experience the story, show off the game, with all the guys and gals and non-binary pals watching this episode. That line, by the way, is, is uh, I stole it from Kenji Lopez Alt, he's a chef I really appreciate. Watch his YouTube videos if you like cooking at all. I'm a chef in the real world, so his stuff really appeals to me. Anyways, good guy, great chef. Very informative. There's your plug, there's your plug, Kenji. I love the the background on the stage, the statues and stuff. It's very regal. Very nice. Alright. All these magicians making me nervous. That sound effect went on forever. Yeah, that sound effect. They must be... Ooh. I was trying to break, see if I could break the statue. I wasn't even trying, paying attention. It's on easy. If anyone wants to see the HD version of this, maybe wants me to just play it, just to show it off or see it, maybe leave a comment below. Because I keep saying, obviously, I love this version. Are they healing? No, he's dizzy. No, wait. I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like they're healing. Maybe it's that pink circle? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Oh my goodness. These guys are... Something else. Keep throwing me in the air. So I just got a fire dash down. He didn't blow up, did he? Golden Guardian? Man. 
Blowing through the continues now. Alright. Berserk again. I don't think he blew up. I'm disappointed. Maybe he got hit out of it. Sometimes he gets hit out of it. But we're whittling him down. Ah, I didn't get that off in time. So those guys are like red mages. Like they got magic in like maces and stuff. The red mage, of course, is from Final Fantasy. That's what I'm talking about. If you've never played Final Fantasy, I can't help you. I'm thinking of playing the f PlayStation Final Fantasies for the channel sometime, maybe, but I don't know if that would be boring or not. I don't know. I don't know. But if there's anything retro like that that people have an interest in, let me know. Oh, there's a thing in the... Ball in the sky. This is getting... I'm going to tell him to go berserk again. As soon as I can. Let's get some room. Oh. Guy almost hit me. I'm going to call him BB-8. Because he's a ball. Oh my gosh, I got bowed in the head. Oh no, there's one of those pink fields. Does that really heal people? I haven't been able to tell. Ooh. Tried to get off a combo. Bam! My... My dash hit somebody. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. You got lasers, man. Come on, BB-8. Well, I got the top of his head. I hit him. Alright, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Nice. I did something right. Oh, two of them? Really? You just gotta get them out of the sky, first of all. There we go, there we go. Oh, they can do that on the ground! Okay, my get them out of the sky theory. was disproven to be a good tactic. Oh, it's gonna blow up. Blow us up. Oh, I ran right into that. Change planes. I don't even know if plane is the correct. Okay, okay. Oh, stop running him toward me. Alright. Alright, Sky Spirit's gonna be mad. We just helped you. Now it's our turn to kick your butt. I'm sorry to see that you, the Chosen Ones, lead this kind of life. <laughs> Sounds like my dad. Chosen Ones, who in the world chose us? Do you think everything that's happening so far is mere luck? Do you think we found the sword by accident? Do you think you met that warrior by accident? Or won every battle? Everything was done with the magic concealed in that sword. This has all been planned. We chose you. Oh, so you're Ash Ketchum. The best of the raw materials. What? The best of the raw materials called humans? To be our ultimate warriors. The warrior who led you here is only a guide. We have no more use for you now. I will blow you away like ashes, along with the undead warrior who was only reborn because I commanded it. Oh, here we go. 
Like I said before, this is going to be way easier than the Earth Spirit. It's not going to be indicative of how tough he is, because the difficulty is drastically lower. He might even have the same moves. They might have, like, mirrored each other. I don't know. He might have two forms, just like the Earth Spirit did. We'll see. No, that's a different move. I don't think the Earth Spirit did that. I like when he when he duck dodges. He looked very funny. I love his sprites. His sprite. It's very good. The pixel work on this game is ah, chef's kiss. Dash the wrong way. Oof. Oof. Alright. Pincer move. Let's see if I can time this right. Nice. Got it. Tripped him. Tripped him. Let's get to the other side of him. Oh. He dodged us. He's balling. Looks like a grown up kid Icarus or something. If you know a band called Thrice, one of their best songs is Daedalus. It's a song about Icarus. You should look it up. One of my favorite bands in the universe. Right, almost dead. Fireball time. Nope. <laughs> he was like, nope. He didn't do that whirlwind move very much. Cool move. Alright. So he didn't have two forms like the Earth Spirit. Interesting. Well, maybe, I guess. There's still there's still time for that. You chose the <laughs> You chose the wrong materials. You could have been the greatest warriors I have ever created. Well, that's okay. There are still some useful materials. You want to ease the despair in your heart by embracing power? You only follow the path given to you. Come, my warriors, destroy those who will not follow me and destroy those useless dead ones. So it said there's like an ultimate creator. Is that who's talking? What the? It's that guy. But he's white. Balgar? Darn it. What the heck? I don't get what's going on. Who is this guy? Is it Valgar? Oh, he is fast. Han is like super slow compared to this dude. Trying to stay on the other side of him. No, 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 don't come to my plane here. Go berserk. Nope, let him blow up. Yes. Oh, he. Oh, no, he's taking damage. He blocked everything, but he took a bunch of damage, too. So, there's no reason not to do that again, right? No cooldown or anything on it, I guess. This guy's blocks a lot. Oof. Jump around a little. Dodge, nothing that matters. Got oh, 98,000 more continues. Hopefully for the next episode, Isaac can join me again. 
He was on the first episode with me. We'll see. We'll see. side of me. I was not expecting that. Come on. Ah, I didn't time it right. Did not time it right. Alright. Just waiting to get a good hit in. Oh! There we go. There we go. Alright. Tell me what's up. Is this the same guy? I didn't mean to be his lackey. But I was so miserable. All I believed in was lost. He offered me power. I thought power could solve everything. What is that? <laughs> Don't worry. Just do what I tell you. Mm, I've heard a Rage Against the Machine song like this. Come on. The victor will soon be determined. Your enemy stands before you. No, this is no different from what I've been doing. As long as we're in your clutches, there will never be peace. Hold it. What are you going to do? Yeah, get the weird bug looking thing. What the heck was that? You humans are strong. You broke the shell surrounding the world, which we took for granted, and cut the chains that bound everything. For your courage, I will guide you to Earth. But the battle is not yet over. Evil will bring new warriors. Maybe even e maybe even evil itself will battle us. But I promise you, when that happens, you have my help. To protect this new world, you have won. The style of this picture does not match the rest of the game. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, yes. Guardian Heroes. Alright, well that's going to be it for this episode. That's ending number two down. So, three more to go. Possibly seven more to go? I don't know how it's going to work. So, thanks for watching. Like I said in this episode, is there anything you want to see on the Saturn or anything? Let me know. Alright, peace out. Hi everyone, yes, all two of you. I'm Sean, aka Enemy Zero, and thank you for watching my channel. Um, you can help me out by like, commenting, subscribing below, and check out my link tree for other ways to support me, such as hiring me for voice acting if you need to. So, guys, gals, non-binary pals, thank you everybody for watching, and remember, I'm Enemy Zero, and you're not.